Craig is the guy who really got this movie going. But before I start talking about your first meeting with the subject of this film, you, you wrote something for the LA Times that I thought was very interesting about your relationship with your father and about your father getting sick and what that taught you about this story and how the story of Dallas Buyers Club really started in your relationship with your father as he was sick. Can you share that story? Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, <clears throat> to speak real specifically to it, I just felt that, uh, and I've heard Matthew mention this as well, every scene in the movie speaks to a man wanting to live. And I think part of having that uh, in, inside of you, not wanting to die and wanting to do everything you can to stay alive is kind of what can extend your life. And I think part of that extended Ron's life, and I think for my father it was very similar. He just, you know, he wanted to seek out alternative medications. The doctors were very cold. There was only protocol for certain chemotherapies. And uh, we looked abroad. And I think his, and he never, you know, really faced death until he had to on a physical level, but not on an emotional level. And I think Ron Woodruff's character was very similar to that. And that, that when I read about Ron Woodruff, that's what spoke to my heart. 